Hey guys, we're here for another Project Pan Art Supply Style. So I've gotten rid of quite a bit this month. If you've been following my uh, vlog, then you know that I purged a bunch of stuff so that I could put more of my fabric and stitching stuff out here in the main part of the art room. When I do want to sew or stitch something, I get really tired of having to dig in the closet. I really want the closet to just be for tools, paper, and that sort of thing. Um, lesser used items in there, more commonly used items out here. Um, I did also get honest with myself that I really don't like making junk journals, not that often anyway, and the amount of junk journaling stuff I had was ridiculous. Um, I don't have a picture <laughs> of what I had um, because I, well, my friend Leslie said, can I have that stuff? And so I sent it to her. And another friend of mine um, said she wanted some um, surplus embroidery stuff that I found, a bunch of embroidery hoops that I had misplaced. So I bought more and then I found the originals when I was putting the sewing stuff away and yeah. Um, I'm not exactly done cleaning out some things. I do think there's a few more things that I wanna clean out, but what I have left is I found a bunch of um, cross stitch charts. Some that I haven't done before, some of them that I have, I'm not gonna do again. I have two of the same one. They're both Holly Hobby. Um, and they're cute and all, but I really, they're really big charts. I would get like this far. I would never finish it. I know that about myself. Big giant projects. Uh, embroidery, knitting, crochet. Nope. So these are both gonna go away. I found some other cross stitch charts, including one that's lettering. And I have this one that is Popcorn Bear, who I have stitched before and I do enjoy stitching him. Um, and I have stitched him in a kind of big-ish size. But here again, I, I would get like this far. And when you stitch Popcorn Bear, um, he's got a lot of shades of brown in him. So he's challenging on a good day. So yeah, anyway. I mean, I enjoyed, have enjoyed the ones I've stitched, but yeah, I, I would never, that's really big. Um, I found some um, cards. Um, these are homemade cards, and I'm pretty sure people probably made these for me and sent them in Happy Mail, and I've never used them. Um, there's nothing wrong with them, but they really should go on to um, somebody's house who's going to use them and send them out. Because I probably am not going to. So I found some of those and some envelopes. I have a few more embroidery hoops. <laughs> I did keep some, I swear. Yeah. Um, I also have some old jewelry parts. Which I'm going to put in... A plastic photo box and I have another plastic photo box they're both gonna go away that's a more um, this is actually lace and ribbon but it's from a piece of old jewelry I used up a bunch of tape runner and I used up a bunch of this is this is just to remind me what to tell you I used up a bunch of old jewelry parts um, took some old necklaces apart so I could use the pearls in my slow stitching, which are right here. Uh, threw the parts I'm never going to use away or I'm giving, or they're here in this pile. And um, I think what I'm going to do with all of this is I'm going to fill up another medium priority mailbox. And I am going to put it in the Etsy shop. I've done this twice now and there will uh, when it's ready to sell I'll let you all know and it'll they'll, it will include a at least one uh, piece of artwork of mine um, maybe a painting maybe a slow stitch maybe some paper clips I don't know um, I am going to I just remembered what it was I wanted to go through y'all remind me I want to go through my bin of painty papers and copies of artwork because they're both overflowing again and I'm not using them that fast and I really don't need that many of them. So yeah, 
So I'm gonna fill the rest of the box up probably with that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in it before I even get it filled and listed on the Etsy shop, let me know. Send me a, a message down below and we'll get things worked out. Um, the cost is usually about $25 for the box plus postage. So um, anyway, that's what I've done for the month. And I wish I had thought to film all of it, but um, you know, I was too busy having fun doing slow stitching. And I will admit there are some things that should go out in the trash that haven't. I used up a bunch of round labels in the Etsy shop and I was gonna get rid of this. And then I thought, huh, I wonder, because it's so sticky, if that would make a, stent, a good stencil for fabric. So there are some things that I haven't managed to throw away, but you know, it is what it is. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm keeping what I love and I'm using what I love and I'm making sure that the things that I don't love or that I have too much of are going away. So it's all good. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links and my um, social media and my Facebook groups, the Etsy shop and all of that stuff is down in the description below. Worst case scenario, there's a link that says Linktree and my name and you click on it and you're gonna find all the places you can find me on the internet. Um, so anyway, click on it. <laughs> uh, don't forget to leave me questions, comments or concerns, like, share and subscribe. And also, you know, I'd appreciate supporting the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, whether it's shopping in the Etsy store or um, joining Patreon or YouTube membership, or there's a lot of different ways to do it. They're all pretty fairly spelled out in the description and not just for me, but there's a, I, a lot of fellow creatives out there on YouTube and Facebook. They all put out some really, really, really great content. And I know they all would appreciate your love and support if you can. Um, so check out their video descriptions the next time you're watching one of their videos and see if they have a way to support their channel. If they don't, ask them because they may have one and they just don't advertise it. So that would be great. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next month. Bye, guys.